Oh, hey y'all. How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's well. So I'm going to do the week in the word today. And the word that was spoken to us on Sunday was persistent living. And we have a lot of great examples that Bishop gave us. So I'm going to talk about a few of them today. Um, in Acts 4, 13 through 20, we read that scripture and I'm going to read it in the Joanna version because I can't be messing with King James and stuff. So let me tell you what happened. Basically, after Peter and John did the miracle of um, healing the lame man, you know, in the name of Jesus, they were arrested because the people was hating. And they were saying, well, they're people just like us. How can they do these things, right? So they gave Peter and John a chance to kind of like explain themselves. And Peter being Peter, and I could talk about him because that's my boy. He was petty. He was like, I can do these things only through the name of Jesus. You remember Jesus, the man y'all killed and then my God raised him from the dead? Yeah, him. So basically the council members was like, oh no, we can't allow this, right? So they told Peter and John, you guys cannot speak or teach in the name of Jesus any longer. And they were not trying to hear that. They was like, y'all ain't my daddy. <laughs> they didn't say that. I mean, they did. But in my version, they did. So they were like, you're not my daddy. And my daddy prefers me to listen to him and not y'all. So no, we will not stop pro proclaiming the name of Jesus. They were persistent, y'all. No matter what, they, what was going to happen to them after, they were persistent. And that's what God wants from us. He wants us to be rooted and steadfast and not break or bend anytime the wind blows, right? So Bishop gave us another scripture, um, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Um, it says, preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Again, persistent living. So what does persistent mean? I'm going to tell you. The definition I found is continuing to exist or endure over a prolonged period. And Bishop gave us the examples of the annuals and the perennial plants. So what can we learn from these plants, right? That don't see, talk, breathe, nothing. Well, the perennial plants, they regrow every single spring. They just keep coming back. No matter where you plant them, they keep coming back. But the annuals, they only grow for a season and then they die. So what can we learn from them? Be a perennial. Don't waver. Don't break. Keep coming back no matter what's thrown at you because God has got our backs. So y'all stay safe. I love y'all. I miss y'all. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.